right, man, there's rumors out there that's saying that Terrence Crawford is now trying to ham uh, Errol Smith's negotiations, which I don't really believe this to be true. But um, it's being said that, you know, Terrence Crawford has told Errol Spence that the fight has to be at 158, 148 pounds with a 10 pound rehydration clause. That Terrence Crawford is refusing. He is refusing to, you know, do a fight at 154 pounds with Errol, uh, with Errol Spence. And, you know, now that he basically is trying to ham Errol Spence and people say, well, uh, you know, um, he was wrong and, you know, uh, Errol gave him an opportunity and all that type of stuff. And, you know, at the end of the day, man, life ain't fair. What uh what uh too short say life is truly too short. Life is too short. And at the end of the day, I mean, I, I feel people, they feel a certain type of way about it, uh, if it's true. Um, and you know, at the end of the day, man, Terrence Crawford said he had no problem doing the fight at 154. So I I don't understand, you know, where's the disconnect at. You know, it's one thing for one more money, you know, and then it's another thing trying to renege and saying you would rather fight at 148 and put a rehydration clause on them. But, you know, I ain't down with that turn of the cheek shit, though. You know, um, I ain't down with that. At all. Now, this is what's going around the Internet real quick. Um, and I'm going to get my honest opinion on it now. I don't believe it to be true, so I got to call it a boxer rumor. Hope it, you know, hopefully it ain't true. I really don't care, to be honest. But it says breaking uh, negotiation between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence have halted due to a disagreement on a weight stipulation. Crawford's team has proposed one forty eight pound catchweight limit with ten pound rehydration clause. For one, it don't make no sense. Why are we fighting at one hundred and forty eight pounds? What sense do that make? Us fighting at one hundred and forty eight pounds. Why not fight at 147 pounds and had a belt on the line? So one pound right then and there, that don't make no sense. Flat out, that just simply doesn't make any sense. In my mind, your mind, they mind, our mind, that just don't make no sense. That doesn't make any, any type of sense to fight at 148 with a 10-pound rehydration clause. So I don't know if I'm missing out on something. I don't know if I missed the freight on this one, but that just don't make no sense. That makes zero sense. So in my opinion, this just sounds like a fake rumor. Now, if he truly is doing this, hey, it is what it is. To me, it's stupid. Why not just why not just had a fight at 47 and had a belt on the line? Now if Errol Spence can't make 47, hey, guess what? You shouldn't have put it in the contract. You shouldn't have put it in the contract where, you know, the winner get to pick the weight. And if you wanted to pick the weight for the rematch clause, you should have made sure you did everything to cross your T's and dot your I's and win the original fight. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, to me, this just seems like a fake story. It seems like it's all kizzity, 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 cap, cap, capalicious. That's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like it's all cap. Um, but if this the case, dude, this don't this don't make no sense. It don't make no sense in, in my mind. It just don't make zero sense. 48, 47, 54, whatever it may be, ain't no ain't no anything above 47, the belts ain't on the line. Now, you know, he said he'll move up and wait. He said he'll move up and wait to take on, you know, Jamil Charlo at 54 or go up to 68 by Canelo. So what's the what's the problem going up to 154? You shouldn't need no rehydration clause. You know, you shouldn't need no rehydration clause. If you wouldn't go fight Canelo at you know 54 or 68, or you wouldn't fight Charlo at 54, 
or whatever the situation may be, you shouldn't need no rehydration clause. Right? You should need one. So that's the hypocrisy. It just If this is the case, he just don't want to rematch Errol Spence. Now, could Al Heyman be putting them up? Uh, could Al Heyman be putting them, uh, putting them, putting them up there? You know what I'm saying? Can Al Heyman, you know, basically say, you know, uh, you know, you know, like, oh man, make it difficult, and you know, I pay you if you, you know, if you, you know, discourage Errol Spencer doing this rematch. Man, I don't put shit past Al Heyman. No cap, I don't put nothing past Al Heyman. Now, could Al Heyman be in Showtime be behind Bud to to discourage this this to discourage Earl from taking a rematch? I could see that. That's the only logical way I, I see uh, Terrence Crawford doing this. That's the only logical way with Al Heyman's blessing and Steven Espinosa Showtime behind him. That's the only way I see him doing this like this. Now you hear people say, "Well, Earl gave him an opportunity. He owed Earl." Uh, you know, I'm with that, but at the same time, Earl slandered that man's name through the mud. Earl was five, you know, five years. He called him top rank Toby. Well, no, no, what do you call him? Coom or break him like Kunta Kente? Come on, let's not let's not forget all the shit that he he talked about. Let's not talk about all the bullshit that he spoke on and that he didn't did. Come on. Come on. Let's talk about all the bull job that, that he didn't did. Slandered his name. Man, he, he defamed this man's name. And he supposed to just, you know, you know, water under the bridge because you, you know, you did some real nigga shit and finally decided to fight. And like he said on ESPN, Errol Smith said, you know, I didn't do this. For, I didn't promise Terrence Crawford nothing. That's what he said. I ain't promised Terrence Crawford nothing. That's what he said. I ain't promised Terrence Crawford nothing. So you didn't do, you didn't fight, he admitted to not fighting Terrence Crawford off of being, you know, being solid. He admitted to fighting Terrence Crawford. Why? He admitted to fighting Terrence Crawford because of the fans. Was, he was getting bullied by the fans. Fans was asking in his neighborhood. Fight him, fight him. When you going to fight Bud? 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 He got tired of hearing that shit. People was going to hold his feet to the fire. They're going to hold his feet to the fire and, and let it burn. So it wasn't nothing he, go, it wasn't nothing he was going to be able to do about it. So do, Aero, do Terrence Crawford owe Errol Spence? He don't owe him shit. You know, would it be the right thing to do? You know, would it be the right thing to do to 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 fight him at 54? The only reason I say he should do that because you you was a man of your word. You you said after the fight you had no problem fighting him at 54. So what's the problem now? Only reason I can see the problem is Al Heyman is Al Heyman trying to tell him to discourage Earl from making this rematch. Is Al Heyman behind this? Because Bud don't strike me as a person to say, yeah, we can do it at 54. He said it on multiple interviews after the fight, the whole thing. So now what changes? You know, just like with uh with Canelo Alvarez. When he said, Well, I don't feel like well, I ain't gonna move up and fight Canelo. I mean, I ain't gonna fight Canelo, I ain't gonna fight Canelo. Then what he turn around and do? Come on. What do you turn around and do?
Come on, he, he talked to Al Heyman, he seen what the money looked like, then he turned around and say, hey man, I'll fight Canelo Alvarez. I'll fight Canelo Alvarez now. Yeah, I'll jump up. First, he wasn't going up there, man. I think the common denominator is Al Heyman pulling these strings, man. If he do have a change of heart and he doing Earl like this, Al Heyman behind it. Trust, please believe me. Al got something to do with it, man. So, yeah, let me know what you girls and guys think, man. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop video. Financially, want to support the channel. Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313 Venmo, CJ Good 313 PayPal link in description. Hit the link tree. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate the love and support. Let me know what you girls and guys think in the comment section. Uh, you know, one time for the one time. Peace.